Hey you guys, uh, this is Kevin. Um, just checking in. Took a little nap, actually, uh, a few minutes ago, just because uh, uh, it's sort of an exhausting day. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I just have a few family problems. Um, my sister's kind of sick and. I'm trying to deal with it and trying to help my mom deal with it and um, you know it's it's just it's just make I mean it's it's fine I mean I'm glad to I'm glad to deal with it I'm glad that, that I'm able to because I don't know like a year ago I might not have been able to but now I can and I can help and I can be a part of the family again, you know, and do a little bit, hopefully at least to um, help out. So, I don't know, but it is kind of emotionally draining. I've just been on the phone. It's hard because I'm, you know, 3,000 miles away. And um, so, but anyway I took a nap I took a nap I had a weird dream that I was like in the Harry Potter universe and I was trying to solve a murder <laughs> I I don't know I, I can't even remember who got murdered I just remember that I just kept having to like I don't know there was this timer that I had to reset because I only had so much time in the Harry Potter universe to solve the murder it was it was kind of weird but I don't know it was fun I like to take these thoughts that I get and write them down. Twitter has been helping me out a lot with that, and so I'll sometimes like think of something interesting and I'll put it on Twitter, like um, just random stuff that comes in my head. Like I've, I guess, I guess uh, I'm kind of a wordsmith. I mean, whatever that means, but I kind of like I like using words and I like using language, so. Um, I cause I, if I think of something interesting to say in the night, I'll like, I like put it on, I'll put it on, um, on uh, tw Twitter, uh, and that's you know, cause I'm Kevin in LA. If you're coming from, if you're coming from Twitter, then you know, uh, cause you're one of my 700 followers. 700 followers, can you believe that? Three, two and a half months ago, I had like nine, and I came on and I just started talking and like every time somebody said they liked my stuff I followed them and I've been learning a lot of stuff about what people think and I've been learning a lot of stuff about myself and it's just been a lot of fun I know that Twitter seems like it could be a waste of time but it's really sort of immediate you know it's like the most immediate thing you can do on the internet Facebook's fine but it tends to be kind of a an echo chamber you know because Facebook Facebook is like, um, you know, if you watch, if you're like conservative or you watch Fox News and you're liberal and you watch CNN, it's like it caters itself to you so much. It's like everything that you see is going to be something that just boosts whatever you think. And that's not really how I operate. Like I like to, uh, I like, to, I like a little bit of confrontation and when I, when I'm thinking. So Twitter, at least, you know, you get this like whole range of like crazy people and their, and their thoughts. And, uh, you know, it's, it makes it, it makes it, it makes it more interesting. It makes it more frustrating too, because you have to deal with all this stuff. But, you know, I'm finding that people are just, you know, there's like, you know, I, I, I don't know. There's like, there's like maybe 10 different kinds of people in the world, you know? And it's, it's not, and I don't mean like the joke about binary, but it's like, there you just kind of see the same kind of people over and over again, especially if you're, like, dealing with them. So, I don't know. It's kind of fun, but it's also kind of disheartening because it's, like, you know, at least, like, four to six of those <laughs> ten people, kinds of people, are just not going to be helpful when it comes to raising up our country and our world to a better place. Like, you could only really count on about 40% of the people that you meet to be, I don't know, I mean, I'm not elitist, but I do think that, I, I don't care if you're, you're smart or stupid, because, I mean, there's only so much capacity that a person has, you know, that's not, it's not up to me to decide, that's what you're born with, 
right? So, I mean, that's not, you can't judge a person on that. It's kind of like what you do with it. It's kind of like your ability to think. And I'm starting to think that maybe even that is not something you can work, I mean, that you, you, you kind of only can work with what you got because, I mean, sometimes these people who have these wrong ideas are just like so, they seem so incapable of ever having right ideas that it's like, what can we do? And it's like, you can't, you can't even blame them. It's like every, everything is shooting them in the face, telling them that, that they're wrong, but they still think that they're right and they can't change their mind. So, I mean, what is it? Is it just, is it just stupid <sighs> pig stubbornness? Or, I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's like with me when I was an alcoholic and I wouldn't stop drinking. You know, was, it, was I drinking just because I was being an asshole or was I drinking because there was something in me that made me drink? And, like, you want to be charitable and say, look, it's, it's not, you're not talking to a person, you're talking to a disease. But, like, at a, a certain point you get frustrated because it's like, just stop it already. You know, and these guys, and these people who are, are just so freaking stubborn about their beliefs when they're so obviously wrong are kind of like those people who won't stop drinking, even though every time they do, they fucking ruin their lives. So, I don't know. Do you get frustrated with them or do you just say, well, they have a disease? And then you start, and then you gotta think, well, am I really right in telling them not to think that way? And, Am I really right to tell a person to not drink? Well, I mean, it's obviously hurting them, and it's obviously, but, you know, it's, it's, so it just, it gets so complicated. It's like, you don't want to be the judge and jury of the entire world, but, like, sometimes it just feels like, God, just, you want to, you want to just, sometimes you just want to talk to sane people, and that's when I go to Facebook, and sometimes you just want to talk to a world full of everybody, idiots included and that's when I go on Twitter so it's a lot of fun but it's also frustrating so all right here's another mind-numbing episode of me talking this is day three of my Kickstarter I now have five amazing uh, people who have given me one of the one of whom is uh, is Missy who is my ex-girlfriend from um, college and uh, I'll I'll tell you about I'll tell you about her sometime in, in my missing toe. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be mortified for me telling that story, but whatever. I mean, it's a long time ago, and really, it's a good story. So I I mean, I actually should be I should thank her. Really, I mean, it's not like I fall over or anything. So, all right, uh, check it out later. Peace. You know that thing that my my Asian girlfriends did. All right, bye.